Hello everyone, welcome to Open Source Cook. In this video, I'm going to talk about the default text editor that comes with Linux Mint. And that text editor is Exit. Now, why I have decided to talk about this text editor is the reason because most of us think the default text editor is just a basic simple text editor. So let's have a look at Exit and let us see if it has some interesting features. So here is Exit and I have enabled actually certain things in this. I have enabled line numbering. I have enabled certain plugins that are there. That is a file browser. So and this is a overview of your code so if you have a very lengthy code you can actually scroll using this thing so what's so great about this text editor first thing is that this is a very lightweight text editor and it supports a lot of languages so uh, suppose you are actually working with a particular language so it will provide you syntax highlighting for that so you can have a look at this particular list so a lot of languages are supported into this so if you are actually uh, planning to write some code or do some coding you can actually use this for as an editor for your coding purpose you should actually give it a try so let's say I'll open some file from this and you can see this is some PHP file and it is automatically highlighted. I'm getting line numbers over here. You can start with a new file and once you have written something you can actually decide on what highlighting you want to use. So this is a simple shell script. You can see it is also getting highlighted so over here on the left hand side in this pane you get the list of files that are open you have your small file manager or file browser over here also it has a built-in plugin for code snippets or you can say uh, the code parts so it has C tags like if you want to add a C comment, include statement or certain things that can be obtained from this. It's quite useful for people who are going to work with HTML or LaTeX. For HTML you have almost a whole list of you know, tags and events available over here and you can just click on it and you can actually get that tag if you are writing some latex stuff so a lot of symbols and other things can be obtained from this apart from uh, these interesting aspects it has some uh, interesting look and feel you can do certain settings from the preferences for the editor, you can select the font which you want for display purpose, display line numbers and other things which I have already enabled from here. It has an interesting option of uh, ensure trailing new lines, auto save files, create a backup for the save purpose. It has certain themes, so you may want to set a different theme according to your liking if you want then it has these plugins so I have enabled certain of them over here so the tag list you have you are already seeing it over here word completion is it completes certain words for you you have insert date and time file browser I have already enabled there's a document statistics and other things 
of course it also has uh, the search feature a search you can do a normal search you can do a search based on regular expressions fine you can do a case sensitive search match the whole word and uh, so on so this is a search you can actually have a replace search and replace it also supports regular expressions quite useful if you have to uh, do a lot of changes overall in the text so if you know regular expressions you'll be able to take the advantage of that so this is your code overview thing which many programmers like the tool also supports spelling check so uh, that is also there you can set the language accordingly and uh, so on so uh, this is the inbuilt or default text editor that comes with mint so as generally people assume that uh, it might not be having too much of functionality but uh, this is quite a handy tool that you can use have a look at it try it out probably uh, you might use it for a lot of work that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching we'll meet in next video